Hi! It... You should probably turn this down. It has been some time. Like, I don't know. Oh, two weeks? <laughs> I finally got the, uh... Oh, the world to work again. Kind of. Um... It's gonna be laggy, I apologize, but... I wanna record for you guys. Got some wrath lamps in here now, it looks nice. I also killed a Hydra. I found one finally. I think my um Twilight Forest reset or something. I was just exploring it yesterday. Uh because there was no lag there. And I've been I've been doing a lot on this world. Pop that guy there. How cool does that look? <laughs> anyway, uh I recently also worked out that this block, you can't make it anymore. Which means Yeah. <laughs> but the cool thing is is the portals work again, so I might build a Nexus, like a cool one. Uh we've got Spider and slime shards. Made some fiber cables. Um, I'll tell you one thing I did have. Uh, oh, I'll show you that in a second. Um, I did have all of this stuff ready to build a tunnel bore. Uh, I suppose some portal spawners and you know. And I found out that Miscraft was changing. But anyway, I got these from uh, a tower in the Twilight Forest. Check them out. They're not the coolest looking things in the world, but you can like make doors out of them and stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can actually get them, but since I have Silk Touch and my Fire, which you guys should definitely do if you haven't already. I don't know if you can still do it. If you can, get it done. If you can't, then it's unfortunate. But I collected a heap of those guys. I was actually looking for a... um, Where did I put them? In here. Yeah, I was looking for a uh, Moonworm Queen thingy. I made a heap of those wrath lamps. Um, yeah, I got a couple other little things. So I'm trying to make a whole ton of lava here. It's not going that fast since I don't have any power ever. <laughs> I've got both these guys running here, and they're making lava slowly. And I think they should, in theory, when it gets high enough, just feed into this tank. I I don't know why I made it like this. I just kind of felt like it. <laughs> I figured why not. <laughs> um. So I guess I should show you what consumed most of my time, and yeah, oh, there's some couple of things out here when it loads. Um, there you go. My Enderman Tower. These are probably all going to come down since I can use uh, the portals now. I can have all of my mob spawners in one area, and uh, ooh, lag spike. Drop them into like a portal and then put them up high and do whatever. Uh, Twilight Forest portal. You guys have seen that. The beacons in here. Oh, I think you guys have seen that. Um, I should show you this. Node. Oh, wow. Look how big it is now. <laughs> Almost a thousand pure node. It's amazing. If you're wondering why it's in a case, when the wisps spawn, they can't, like, get out. And Yeah. <laughs> it's still high, though. It's kind of weird. I hope I haven't, like, corrupted it or something. I got these little dudes using some of the uh, Requilium stuff. This is, like, a... A lily pad of okay. What do I? There you go. Lily pad of oh, I spelled it wrong. Lily pad of fertility. Uh these are yeah. It's not too expensive, but basically what it does is it will make these plants grow quicker. And I've got a little uh, couple of smart golems here. The wood one will go and I think he's strong. I don't remember, but can I not right click you? Uh Apparently not. Ah, uh, yeah, well, this guy's smart, so he will replant them, and the other guy's strong, so he'll collect more, but he'll just go and, you know, just break them. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could combine them somehow, and this guy will eventually uh, work out that he needs to go get them. <laughs> they kind of just try and climb on top of the ender chest. He'll work it out eventually, I think. There you go. He worked out that he could get up there, and now he's going to pick them up. <laughs> I love that. It's so cool. For some reason, the chests are, like, dark or something. And, you know, everything's, like, really weird. I don't know. But, anyway, the consumer of all of my time was these bad boys. There is 22 ultimate hybrid solar panels here. <laughs> Four hybrids and a couple of advanced ones. I also have this guy. I've got, uh, like, pretty decent enchantments. I put fiery aura on my uh, chest plate. It's quite funny when stuff hits me, it sometimes catches fire. <laughs> uh, um... I've got all these guys rigged up to uh, 
I'm not lagging too bad, 25 FPS. I just hope you guys are... don't... you know... Ooh, did that affect me? It might have done. Uh, I hope you guys, you know, don't suffer, but that's kind of it, really. Those took me a really long time to do. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing this episode is starting to work on our Nexus room. What I'm going to do, if you guys have been a fan of my channel for a while, on my old world, um, on the beta of this pack, I had turtles uh, and stuff control like a portal for me, which I could go, I could go and, uh, you know, send in a, a call number, and then it would uh, put the book of my choice into that, uh, into the portal thingy. Shush. And, uh, yeah. So that's kind of what I want to work on today. Um, I don't know where we can put it, though. That's the only problem. Oh, you remember that node I had? Uh, the one that was originally feeding our base? Yeah, it's combined with this guy now. <laughs> that's why it's so big. I... Spent a lot of time making, you know, the, uh... Cause I had to break it and move it again, and, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, I have a lot of silver wood trees. But, yeah, I've got one spare never star there. Um. Oh, I'll tell you a little trick I learned while killing the Hydra. I basically stood on the side of his hill, turned my laser to explosive mode, <laughs> and just stood there shooting him, and I didn't take any damage or anything. It just, yeah, it wasn't very fun. I was going to record it, but, well, I was actually recording it but it was just really boring footage, and I probably could have just punched him a couple times, but eh, whatever. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I'll take those. <laughs> now, a couple other things I wouldn't mind doing is making, like, automated farms, which we can, oh, well, semi-automated farms, and I guess. Um, you guys should be downstairs. Oop, there we go. Uh, I can get these guys down... Yeah, what I'm thinking is causing all the lag is these um these micro blocks. I have a feeling it might be them because yeah, I, what I tried is I took this chunk loader out. Um, I don't even know if this area is loaded back here actually. I've got a couple of chunk loaders. What I'll do is I'll put another one back here. Um, show lasers. Yeah, this is loaded now. Should see them over here. Yeah. It loads over to here, and this guy does four chunks as well. This should load like minimal chunks now, and then this guy will load to where? That one loads to there. Where's the other one? Come on, show me your lasers. Hmm, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might. I'll, I'll mess with that, but I mean, the guy reaches fairly quick. Oh, that one reaches. Ah, I see. That one reaches over there, and this one reaches over here, so there, yeah. That's a, probably a little bit better. I could use spot loaders, but I need quite a few of them. Um, I've finished most of the Thorncraft research now, but I haven't started on the bee stuff, which I wouldn't mind doing sometime soon. It'd be quite interesting. Let's see how many of those, uh, 16. Oh, hey, I should show you, um, this is my chests for the panels. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of coal chunks crazy amounts. And this is my iridium plate thingy. I've got some stuff here, but since I've got 20 going into this, I literally just leave it on with no scrap. I just plugged it straight into the solar panels. Look how quickly you get you matter. <laughs> yeah, 81 stacks of this stuff, so I'm probably going to make some more of them soon. I don't know, we can make all sorts out of them. Oh, I've missed you guys. <laughs> so, my tutorial on how to kill someone in quantum armor that I posted uh, last week took off pretty well. Uh, I, got, I got quite a few views in the first like day or two, so... Yeah. I'll tell you what I wouldn't mind doing is researching the uh, bow ties and stuff, and the top hats. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm gonna need these guys. Probably, I'll just... I only wanted a stacks. It's the haste. I might just take the haste out of the uh, tower because I just click ridiculously quick. If I can get into range. We just start clicking. I want to get into range. Let's see how quick I click. It's really difficult to do anything with the uh, this bad boy. Also, this is um, part of uh, Zeno's requ Requilium. Basically, what it does is it, it holds staffs 
uh, staffs. It holds torches, and you can place them. There you go. See? And then when you pick them up, they get like consumed into the staff. It's pretty cool. Because you can place them at really long ranges, but it costs more, which is quite nice. <coughs> I want to find a home for this bad boy soon as well. It's initially made it because every so often these Naga Stone dudes were, uh, I silk touched the first lot and um, they were like broken, so I just put them through this. Basically, what it does is it just puts the block down and breaks it. It basically de silk touches stuff. I might end up doing that for ores in the future because, I mean, I have, you know, <laughs> quite a lot of uh, stuff. I mean, like, check out that. That Most of that's from the Witch Shard. The Witch Shard is incredible, and same with this, like. Ah, uh, what's that? Sulfur. Hmm. But yeah. I need a lot of uranium, but uh, Fortune doesn't do uranium, so I'm probably going to put that through one of these. Just drop it and smash it, or I can just compress it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. This guy, I plug straight into the uh, high voltage. It charges a bit quicker now. Like, I don't know, about the speed of the MFSU, maybe. I wonder if I can... Ooh, they changed it. Efficiency upgrades and overclockers I've got on it. Projectors. Oh. I don't even know. It must be like... Hmm. Maybe there's like... Projector. Projector... Proximity booster. That's probably it. Wide band booster. I, I'm gonna have to look into this. Uh, maybe we can make it so that when I'm down here, if I have a couple of these lying around, it can like charge my um, can charge me like while I'm down here without you know access to the sun. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> um, we have enough power for it, so I guess we need to find somewhere to put the. Uh, the Nexus, and I'm thinking a good place to pop it would be in a room back here. Uh, the episode's not going to be very long today, since I don't have a lot of time. It's a kind of last minute thing with the recording of it. I just... I kind of... I kind of be a bit more cautious, because see how fast this breaks. And I don't want to break, you know, unnecessary stuff. But yeah. If you if you think of Stargate with this, uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, like a nice Stargate you feel. I don't know. All right, so we can build these gates any size we want. By the way, just chunk this guy. I may end up pulling that down sometime because it it it's really hard to uh, manage. Basically, it gets power from a tesseract behind here, but this guy... Actually, this guy's getting power. Uh, if I I didn't show you how this works, I'm so sorry. Uh, this is a igneous extruder. Put a bucket of lava and a bucket of water, and it makes cobble. Down here is a magma crucible. When it gets enough power, it'll turn the cobblestone into lava, uh, which gets put into here. Simple. Basically, I want to fill that up so I can have lava for obsidian and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I should probably turn the lasers off on these. Hey, that might annoy you guys. I don't know. <laughs> so I'd love some tips on... If you guys know, uh, if you've had any experience with FPS, I mean... My graphics card is... Well, I can play default Minecraft on... Uh, 3 or 400 FPS. <laughs> I've got a GTX 660. Uh, my processor is not the best processor. I got a quad core uh, AMD FX something, but it's 4.2 uh, gigahertz or something. I don't know. Um, the coding for this I'm going to do off of camera because obviously it's going to be annoying as hell to watch. And boring. But yeah, I'm going to prepare this little room here and I will get back to you in a minute. So bye bye. Okay, so it seems like. I have run out of time, so I guess this is a good good uh, way to end the episode because I'm kind of stumped of what to do with this room. Um, give me ideas for this, please. 
that's kind of the sh in the short. Um, I'd like to know. I just chucked all my dirt away, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> if you guys give me some suggestions on how we can, uh, or what I can put in that room or something, uh, I'd be grateful. I'd like tips and tricks and. Maybe you can send me some pictures. Feel free to PM me. I don't get many PMs, so I'll definitely read it. Uh, <laughs> give me some ideas of how I can manage the uh, the portal room. You know, maybe like ideas of blocks I could use. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, feel free to just you know suggest anything. Maybe I can even move the beacons over here, and we could have beacons coming up through the wall. That'd look cool. Something nicer behind it, maybe we can put like lava or something. Give me some ideas of what you think would be cool to do, and I'll give them a shot. Uh, so, anyway, sorry about that, but I gotta end the episode now because I've got something to do in a bit. So, yeah, I'm back. Oh, shit! I should probably say this is my 100th video, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Um, I guess I should say thank you for sticking with me, really. Uh, and. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my video, so I will see you next time. Thank you.